My friend Farina desperately needs some help to organize a small two-functional closet. Did you know IKEA has this new closet organizer? I'm using the IKEA Ardell system to transform this small region closet. This is a really easy organizer to install. It's actually cheaper than the IKEA PAX wardrobe and it makes a great impact for organizing any small closet. We're gonna get started on the closet first because she desperately needs some organization in here. We're gonna be using an IKEA organizer. So it's a closet organizer that's gonna be really easy to put together. And we're gonna really tidy up the space and make it functional for her family. Okay, so this is her closet. Now as you can see, they don't really use it to hang clothes, but she wants to have um, an organizer that we can add and build in here so that they can hang clothes in the future. So we've got a slim profile organizer and then we're gonna add hanging space on both sides. But the main objective of this closet is really to get it tidied up because she's just, she's just got a lot of bins and things that, you know, she, she just needs to have access to. First step is always to clean out and empty the closet and take inventory of what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna discard. Okay, now that the closet is emptied out, I'm going to take the shelf off, remove this bar, and then I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna take the cleaning out. We have to see, hopefully it's easy to just come out with a pry bar. Um, but yeah, we wanna start with like a total blank slate in this closet. Next up, let's patch the holes and give it a quick coat of paint before we get to installing the new organizer. Okay, we are using the IKEA Audrel system in this closet. So um, when you're picking a typical closet organizer, you just have to make sure the depth is gonna match the depth of your closet and also like the width. So, in this, we had actually debated whether we should use a PAX closet organizer, but um, the depth was not accommodating for it. Uh, so that's why we went with this one. And it is a little bit cheaper too, but we still have drawers because she wanted that, you know, as the kids grow older, when them is gonna move into this room. So she wants the drawers because that's way more functional for clothes. Okay, so hopefully this is just simple to assemble. Let's see. Also, we got everything shipped because like, it's just so much easier when you have kids to not have to take out the car seat to bring Ikea furniture. The first thing I noticed as I open this is that this is a one person installation. So this is going to be so easy for me. Okay, so then we're just going to put the leg on first. So I'm just following the instructions. I got the leg clipped on there. Okay, for something like this, as much as possible, you want to get the bracket into a stud so this basically goes onto the wall and then the middle unit will attach onto this so i found a stud what's cool about the mounting bracket is that there's so many holes in it so you can just install this into any hole wherever the studs line up okay so now the way the system works is that the organizer actually hooks onto that I'm gonna start building the closet system now. So it's actually two separate pieces, the vertical ones that go in first, and then we're gonna attach the shelving to kind of like make it the unit. So it's not built on the floor, it's actually built on the wall. And it's actually the same on both sides, so it doesn't matter which is right and which is left. And then you adjust the foot. So now those are installed, the next part is to actually add the shelves and the drawers to this. Oh, and then the rods too, and then we're done. So the only thing to note is that um, the shelf actually has like, you see these two little divots, it like slides onto the bracket. So for the bottom, the shorter one goes in the back. So just make sure you do that.
so I'm at the stage where I'm ready to install the drawers and the shelves and I'm actually having a hard time figuring out where they go. So for the Ikea Pax wardrobe, you like plan it out and it tells you like which holes to put everything in. I thought the Audra was the same, but it's not. So this is kind of what I figured out. So I'm gonna build from the bottom up and it's gonna go um, six holes from the bottom up and then in between each of the brackets or the, or the, the, the slides, you can go nine holes in between. We're building three drawers for this closet system. So these are the odd drill doors. And I think they're a really good size for like socks, underwear, t-shirts, that kind of thing. These are actually different. I didn't realize that um, the sides and stuff, they're made out of metal. They're not made out of MDF, which is more typical for Ikea stuff. So. So for these, once these go in, you actually just need to and use some muscle and push the tab in. And that's, now it's secure. Let's build the rest of these. They only take like five minutes each, which is a huge bonus. I'm also just gonna install the shelf and the shelf supports before I put all the drawers in. I think that there's just not a lot of space here, so it will just be like one thing easier. Okay, this is the last shelf going in. All right, then we just have to do the rods. This system comes with these kind of brackets that you install, and that's why there's all these holes on this side. Um, so Frida and I figured out what the height is that she wants, so I'm gonna install these. And then we'll also need to install into the wall, which will mean we'll need anchors. I've got the brackets up, so I'm gonna put the rods in. Um, you just have to make sure they're level when you put them in. And I'm probably gonna have to use anchors realistically because I doubt I'll be able to hit studs. So let's see. No. Oh no. We didn't measure this properly. Oh no. <laughs> Farina? So isn't this life? I quickly have to head to Home Depot and get a new rod. So the hanging rods that come with the Audrell organizer, they actually need a minimum of 68 inches long of a closet. You can't cut them down to size because they're adjustable. So I'm gonna have to get some wood rods. Okay, I quickly just have to cut this dowel down for like the rods and then I'm gonna head over and finish off the closet. Okay, so yesterday I was not able to use the Ikea rods because actually the spaces are too small. So I cut down my dowel. These are the brackets I got. So um, these just kind of sit in there. So I already found the studs. So this should be a super simple install. Okay, I did some experimentation here because I wanted to see if I could get at least two of these holes into a stud. Um, in the end, I found that I couldn't, which is fine. So I'll have to use anchors, but I definitely want to make sure that at least one of these goes into a stud. So it's gonna be, I want the bottom middle one to go in and then I'll use anchors for the sides. When you install the bracket on this side, you actually have to put the rod in first um, and you hope that your measurements are correct. <laughs> and then I measure from the back of the closet, okay? And I have to make sure this is gonna be level and then we'll mark it.
Guys, check this out. This organizer is done. Isn't this amazing? I love this at such a budget price. It's gonna be so much more functional for Farina and her family. The drawers slide great. And there's so much more hanging space now. If you remember, this closet was like a functional closet. It wasn't really for clothes. So Farina's got all of like the kid stuff organized in here. So she's gonna be putting some of that in there. We've got an assistant too. This is such a great closet organizer. I think this would be great for any kid's room, a coat closet, or even a linen closet. It just adds a ton of storage at a really budget price and it was so easy to install. Make sure you like and subscribe this video and I'll see you next time for more budget DIYs.